I know you guys are objective over there that you just report the news as it is. <laughs> oh, I know. CNN makes a... I know is that supposed to be a laugh line? I wasn't supposed to be, but uh, I guess it is. Apparently it is. Let's watch that clip together. I know you guys are objective over there that you just report the news as it is. <laughs> oh, I know. CNN makes a... I know is that supposed to be a laugh line? I wasn't supposed to be, but uh, I guess it is. So this is Stephen Colbert, who's infamously on the left. His audience is on the left. What I hate about modern late-night TV, uh, when I was a kid, you had Johnny Carson, who kind of had a rule that if you told a Democrat joke, you tell a Republican joke. Well, today, much of late-night television is we're going to tell half the country that they're stupid and bad, and we're going to feed Democratic voters their prejudices and biases and whatnot. So Caitlin Collins from CNN is the guest on Stephen Colbert, and Stephen Colbert asks, or says CNN is objective and everybody laughs. Why do they laugh? Because even this New York City crowd, much of which I didn't poll them, I would think tend to vote Democratic or there because they like Stephen Colbert and they like that kind of messaging, they even had to laugh at this. CNN's Caitlin Collins says, is that supposed to be a laugh line? Her being in her bubble at CNN, she can't see it either. Look, for most of us out there, I don't care whether you're left or right, Fox News is biased, we all know that, but CNN, MSNBC, establishment media, legacy media in general, are basically the comms department for the Democratic Party at this point. I mean, they tell us lie after lie. It wasn't what just a few weeks ago that people were wondering about Joe Biden's mental health after the debate with Donald Trump, and before that, almost every Democratic outlet, including CNN, was telling us he was fit as a fiddles as far as mental capabilities were concerned. When they couldn't tell that lie anymore, Kamala Harris, one of the most unpopular vice presidents in history, now they're mythologizing her as just this wonderful thing. And that's just the latest lies, talking about objective reporting. Yes, that audience for Colbert should laugh. Remember, I mean, in the last decade, we had these same channels, especially CNN, telling us that Donald Donald Trump was colluding with Russia, and that's how he won the 2016 election. There was a two-year investigation into this, and there was nothing, and they shut up about it, except for the fact that many Democrats still believe this, because a channel like CNN said it for years. All the lies about COVID, even the origins, when, people, when it was brought up that maybe this came from a, a lab leak in China, a Wuhan China lab leak, they said it was a conspiracy theory, it's not true. Now even the FBI admits it, and it looks like it's likely true. Lie after lie after lie. Yeah, that audience is going to laugh reflexively because the idea that CNN object is objective is absolutely hilarious. I know you guys are objective over there that you just report the news as it is. <laughs> Oh, I know. CNN makes a... I know is that supposed to be a laugh line? I guess it is. Apparently it is.